Hey Virgo and welcome to your tarot love readings for the one that loves you or the one that you love here. The messages contained within the reading here are going to be general tarot messages so please be mindful of that throughout the spread. Um, if you are interested in a personalized tarot reading with myself please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will provide you with my email address just below the video here where the show more section is along with all the information that you will need. So the messages contained within the reading here are intended for Virgo Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and to those of you that may be cross-watching as well. So let's take a look at the messages here. You've got the Hierophant. You've also got the Page of Cups, but it's in reverse. Um, okay, so with the Hierophant here, you know, this is a man of tradition. This is a man of um, virtue, humility, forgiveness here. Um, the one that loves you, I feel like maybe holding something back from you. Um, and I feel like there may be, you could be sort of entangled in a situation with them which, which uh, needs to be healed. I feel like this, for some of you here, Virgos, there's a healing that needs to take place. A forgiveness um, of a past hurt or a past resentment here. A forgiveness from a mistake here. Um, so you can sort of release the past because it's weighing you down. Um, or perhaps this person here, I feel like this, this is someone whom... You know, I've mentioned that I feel like this person is holding something back from you when it comes to their emotions here. This is someone who I feel like has a very strong emotional connection with you. They could be in love with you. They could see themselves falling in love with you. Or at the very least, this person has very strong romantic feelings for you, but they hold back. They could have fears of emotional intimacy. They might be married or they might be attached to someone else, um, hence the fear of coming forward here, jeopardizing their current marriage or partnership here or jeopardizing yours because you you might be the one that may be attached here. Um, but I feel like, yeah, to me, I'm getting a strong sense of healing or, or someone here holding back, someone here holding back their emotions, fear of emotional intimacy or just fear of emotion expressing themselves. Why? Is it because they might be jeopardizing the connection? What is it? The Seven of uh, Pentacles here, it's almost like someone here is waiting for the right time here, waiting for the right time to come forward, waiting for the right time, um, the right time, the right set of circumstances, the right moment here to express themselves or to come forward with whatever it is that they're holding on to. Um, I feel like this is someone whom, see, here's the thing. I feel like maybe you're the one who's really invested in this connection or that the both of you have really invested a lot of time and energy and effort into the connection here. Or maybe, you know, I could read this as this person is scared to open up to you emotionally because they are married or they are attached elsewhere. And, you know, this is someone that they've built a life with this person. They may have fallen out of love with them, but they are what's familiar to them, you know, and they are their home, their comfort zone. And maybe they're scared to leave that. I'm also seeing that, you know, the seven of pentacles is all about long-term benefits. Okay. It's like, Maybe you're frustrated here because it is your energy here, Virgo. Maybe you're frustrated with someone here not emotionally expressing themselves, someone not committing to you. Because I feel like, you know, the Hierophant with the Page of Cups in reverse here, um, maybe you feel as though this person, you may feel as though this person isn't committed or isn't committed to making a commitment here, not popping the question or not, um, you know, um, coming forward. Uh, and telling you how they truly feel here because I feel like to me you're frustrated either with the progress or the lack of progress or the growth or the lack of growth um, surrounding this connection because it's almost like you feel as though this is testing your patience notice it's almost like this look of discontent that stretches across his face he feels as though you know he's putting so much work into this garden um, and to me you know it, it looks like a thriving garden but he's not happy why? Because he wants more. He, he deserves more. So that, I feel like, is your energy here. Okay, let's see what else is coming up. Okay, you've got the Six uh, of Swords in reverse on the Page of Cups here. Okay, and the Three of Swords. So I do feel like there is a strong third-party situation. Or if it's not someone else, so either you or this person is attached to someone else, okay? Now, they may be in a relationship or in a marriage with someone else, or I feel like this person is still, they're still hung up on an ex, okay? If they are not hung up on an ex per se, I feel like this person is... 
they haven't moved on from the relationship okay maybe they've moved on from the individual their ex but they haven't moved on from the pain the hurt of the relationship here um finally enough i did get a strong sense as soon as the hierophant on the page of cups uh in reverse came out i spoke about healing here right i got a very strong sense of someone needing to heal something because i feel like that's the very thing that is preventing them from moving forward so whether it is your energy virgo or the energies of your person that you're dealing with here um, again, heal from the past, heal from a hurt, heal a wound here, heal a betrayal. Um, someone here, I feel like, needs to, and they're holding back. So whether they're holding back information or whether they're holding themselves back from undergoing this healing process, okay? Um, the, the Six of Swords in reverse here, on top of the Page of Cups in reverse. This is actually interesting because um, Six of Swords is air energy right um the past has a it has a strong hold on this person okay it has a strong hold on this person if they don't find a way of detaching themselves from the past unfortunately i feel like they they may love you but to me it feels like they're, they're torn like they're torn between the past and the present and they can't fully be in the present if they continue to you know keep looking back on the past or if they are unwilling to move away from the past you do have the two of cups and i feel like this person wants to come together or you want to come together you want to manifest you want to make this happy you uh, happen you want um a partnership a union you want it to be balanced already you want them to put in as much effort as you've been putting in or perhaps this is how this person uh feels about you but to me i get that someone here is running away from the problems and i feel like um, I feel like someone here needs to do healing or emotional purging because they're not because I feel like that's causing the that's causing the hindrance to this connection here. The ten of wands, okay, now notice how you know he's holding those wands, those staff, those rods here close to his chest. It's burdensome. This is weighing this person down, whether it's you or the energies of this of the person that you're currently involved with, okay? This person is keeping a lot to themselves. They don't have to, though, okay? They don't have to pull all this weight on their own. They can share the load. They can release it, okay? They can... They can go to therapy, they can share and open up with you, they can, you know, open up and be emotionally vulnerable with yourself or to a, with a close friend or a relative or a family member, you know, um, who, whomever. They don't have to keep it to themselves. They don't have to do this alone is what I'm trying to say, okay? But they, they feel as though they have to, they don't. Um, and I feel like it's weighing them down. They can't necessarily focus and be entirely present in the connection when I feel like the past still very much lingers and still very much has a strong hold on them. Or they're clinging to the past here, okay? Much like the figure here is clinging onto the Ten of Wands. I mean, he's so fixated on trying to get the Ten of Wands and trying to bring them home. Is he even watching where he's going? So I feel like this person... It's hard to have a future with someone who refuses to move away from the past, basically. Okay, so yes, I do feel like this person has strong romantic feelings for you. And I feel like, you know, if this person can heal, whether it's you or them, if they can heal this hurt or heal this wound or this situation, I feel like you truly would have a beautiful, wonderful connection here. Because I feel like um, this this beautiful balance of energies but i feel like they're they're too stuck in the past they're way too stuck in the past here in order to move forward here okay and look look the lovers card strong romantic energy but again i'm getting this you know it's it, almost like this triangle it's it's you it's them and it's their past or it's you and them and someone else because I feel like someone else here is, it keeps creeping up. To me, I'm getting that there is someone or something else here. Whether it's the fact that this person is stuck in the past and the past is preventing you from moving forward with them. Um, or whether the, this person is attached to someone else here and that's preventing um, this person from moving forward. Because they feel maybe their heart, a piece of their heart is still with this person or is still in the past here. Okay, and with the Five of Swords here, this is interesting. Again, air energy here. You may be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius here. Um, it's a sadness. I'm getting that this person feels defeated. They feel like 
you know, d defeated by their past. They feel like they've lost he something from their past, or maybe they d they don't feel themselves and they haven't felt themselves for quite some time. This person does love you here, and I feel like they are committed to you here, but they're also equally committed to their past here, okay? And their past is what's weighing them down. Their past is what's causing a wedge between you and this individual here. So I feel like there's a lot that this person needs to deal with internally, but they need to understand that help is available. They don't have to do it on their own. Um, I'm also seeing that this person is not being honest with their emotions. They're not being honest with themselves because I feel like they're refusing to address the issue. They're, they're refusing to admit to themselves that, you know, they're still caught in the past or the past has such a strong hold on them. To them, it's the norm. It's, it's what they've known for such a long time that it's normalcy for them. So with the five of swords, it's not that they're being dishonest with you. They do, they are holding back, but I feel like what they're holding back is their past energy, like what's happened in the past or their past hurts. They don't like talking about it because it's sort of like, if I don't acknowledge it, it doesn't exist. And that's not true. Okay. Just because you don't believe in something, it doesn't mean that that very thing doesn't exist in the same way, same reverse. So there you have it, a bit of a complicated spread here, Virgo, but I do feel like there's a very strong romantic energy, a beautiful emotion, emotional connection, um, devotion, love, commitment. But I also feel like there's something here that's causing a wedge as well. Can this connection withstand the test, the test of time? Um, we'll see. Okay, guys, and I'll leave you on that note. So thank you guys for watching and listening. Please show your support by subscribing to this channel, liking, commenting, or sharing. I will be um, sharing with you more general love readings throughout the week. Stay tuned. Thank you guys again. Bye for now.